I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. A big change in Colorado's vaccine rollout. Centura Health says it will no longer offer the Johnson & Johnson vaccine at its drive-up clinics. That includes the Dick's Sporting Goods Park in Commerce City, Broadmoor Arena in Colorado Springs, and the Colorado State Fairgrounds in Pueblo. The president of Centura Health tells Denver 7 in an interview today they made this decision because of a national shortage and adverse reactions at a recent clinic. I would say that's one of the reasons both the shortage and the incident is why we've shifted to Moderna and Pfizer for our mass vaccination sites for the next couple of days. Centura tells us it will use up its supply of Johnson & Johnson at doctor's offices so that no doses go to waste. Now, because of the adverse reactions, Centura rescheduled about 600 appointments for Sunday. When the pandemic started, Denver Parks and Rec followed a nationwide trend and closed park roads and parking lots to make room for social distancing. Well, now that things are opening back up, so are some of those roads. Members of the Denver Streets Partnership are not happy about that. They want some of the streets in Denver's city park closed so that there's more space for bikers and people walking. Two weeks ago, they those streets were open back up to drivers again. But in a recent Denver Park survey, 82% of responses were in favor of keeping them closed. I think right now there was a little bit of chaos when the department opened up streets to cars that people were used to being car free. Um, it caught families and, and other folks walking and rolling through the park off guard. Denver Parks and Rec says if the roads close again, it could create some traffic problems. So for now, they are going to stay open. After highs right around 70 degrees for our Saturday afternoon, we're going to cool things down for Sunday. Highs near 60 degrees, then down to 50 on Monday with mostly cloudy skies and a chance for snow with that colder air on Tuesday. And we'll even have a few flurries possible into Wednesday morning, rain and snow into Thursday and Friday, a possibility here. But the look at those temperatures, they're going to be pretty warm going into Thursday and Friday. But on Saturday, highs around 50 degrees with partly cloudy skies. And this has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you for joining us. Check back here later for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jacqueline Allen.